So it's day one of 2022. A new generation of Formula One car has now been launched. And I have to say, I think it's been a really good start. I think everyone could be pretty happy because first of all, what you really want is mileage under your belt still. Even though there's so much to find out about these new cars, you need to get the mileage in. And we've had problems for Alfa Romeo and Haas have had a bit of a, a sticky start. Those two, maybe not so good, but everyone else has done a lot of mileage. And in fact, four teams, we've had Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull and Williams all do a full race distance in the first morning. So super impressive on the, uh, on the mileage. Now the performance, we knew there was going to be differences this year. The changes over the winter scale back a lot of the aero components above the car, focusing more on ground effect. And that was going to affect the, uh, the performance of the last generation car that took years to develop. And we're starting back at square one here. But overall, I think it's not too bad a start. The cars this morning, Charles Leclerc, 2.8 seconds away from what Valtteri Bottas did when we were last testing here in the winter in 2020. And that corner there, turn 10, that's changed since then as well, which probably takes maybe a second of that as well. So around two seconds of performance on this absolute start point. And having watched this morning in the fast corners, it's really impressed to see that the ground effect seems to be working. Leclerc and his Ferrari was really hustling on and uh, was flat out or as close to flat out as I could tell through turn nine very, very quickly. George Russell settling in a Mercedes, looked like he did a good job as well. Straight in, straight down to the pace and looking really confident in that car. Lando Norris as well, looking good in the, uh, in the high speed. The front end of the McLaren looking really sharp and direct. Those three looking really solid from the morning. And of course, they ended up topping the times on the C3 tire. With all the changes, it's probably the low speed that's gonna be the most affected. And that's why we're down here at turn 14 and 15. The high speed, the ground effect's working well. The low speed, the cars now are nearly 50 kilos heavier, plus there'll be some testing fuel in there. The suspensions are stiffer, the tires are uh, low profile. They're gonna be giving a little bit less as well. They got less, basically, thickness of the rubber there to add a bit of shock absorbing. So it's gonna make life really hard and the compliance is gonna be tricky, particularly in the low speed, particularly in corners like this one where there's curbs and here, the yellow Ray sausage curves are still there. I haven't seen anyone take them, but the visibility as well for the drivers might be a little bit harder. As Max Verstappen comes in behind me, actually getting a little bit closer to the curb there as well. It's a balance now of upsetting the car over the curbs, which is maybe a little bit harder this year than it has been in the past and making sure you basically get the, the neatest racing line to carry the speed. Here comes Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin. And you can see he's a little bit further from the apex. And I have to say the Aston Martin looks a little bit more of a handful in these final two corners. Everything is a little bit of a handful, even for years. It used to be a bit of a fiddly final chicane, but particularly this year, it's a little bit harder. And as I was saying, the visibility tougher as well because the tires are raised. They've got fins over the top of them as well. So the drivers will see a little bit less in a corner like this. And uh, Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari, which I think is going really well today. He's been across that final chicane a couple of times. Anthony Hamilton was in the background a minute ago watching his son Lewis, who was also off just up there at turn 13. The rears of the cars look very, very unstable, but I would say it's probably the Mercedes and the Ferrari that look the strongest, as well as the McLaren, which hasn't done as many laps, but there's still plenty to play for. It's only day one of 2022 after all.